to see you. It's been a frustrating start for you, I guess, with the injury. How long do you believe it will take before the Chelsea fans really see the best of you? Um, no, yeah, for me, it's like it couldn't be sooner enough. But um, if you think realistically, um, yeah, I've been out for a while. Um, season stopped last year for me uh, a bit early. Uh, so I didn't play for a while as well. And uh, like I said before, yeah, the injury came on an unlucky time. And uh, yeah, for me, it's now important just to, to get the rhythm back and, and to build up everything again. And, and you know, uh, I know I know it, it will take some uh, it will take some time, but uh, yeah, for me, it couldn't be sooner uh, as soon as possible. But yeah, this right. It is what it is right now. And, and yeah, for me, it's now most important to build again to come to come in one hundred percent fitness. And then, and, and, yeah, that's what we're working on with. Hakim, when you signed, uh, I'm sure you're aware. A video re-emerged about your dream of playing for Arsenal or Barcelona. Now, in the last two yeah. or three windows, can you tell us how close you were to joining another club before you eventually joined Chelsea? Um, no, yeah, the last, I will say, uh, two years ago, I was almost uh, moving somewhere else, but it didn't happen. Um, and, um, yeah, for myself, I'm, I'm like, back, I'm looking backwards now. I'm, I'm happy I didn't because from that moment, um, yeah, I had an incredible journey with Ajax as well. And, uh, and an amazing time and, and, and improved a lot uh, on the highest stage in Europe. And um, yeah, this summer was for me, uh, was the time to, to, to move on and to step up. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I still had the last two years in Ajax. And, and I think the last two years improved me a lot, just not only as person, but also as football. Can you tell us who the club was? Uh, no, it's not really necessary. Uh, um, it's just, uh, I think it's everybody know already because it was a lot in the media. So, uh, and I'm not the type of person that I'm looking back. Um, so, um, yeah, just let it for what it is. Just final one for me it's Manchester United next, and you could come up against your former Ajax teammate in Donny van der Beek. Yeah. Are you surprised about his lack of playing time? And, and have you spoken to him? And has he spoken of his frustration to you? Uh, no, we, we spoke in the beginning when he moved to, to Manchester. Uh, and the last week he didn't spoke a lot. but uh, And I didn't also not speak about him, about his situation. Uh, I think he will need time as well. I mean, uh, you, come, you come from a different... Different, uh, different country, different style of play, and, and you know, uh, and I know for sure it will take some time for him as well to to get used to everything, and then and then I know for sure he will uh, he will bring quality to the to the squad over there, and uh, and uh, yeah, for for him, most important right now is to stay calm. Okay, next we'll go up to Moose at Talksport. Hi Hakim, welcome to uh, welcome to Chelsea. First of all, how did Frank Lampard sell the club to you when you when you agreed to join Chelsea? Uh, no, we spoke on the phone and, and just the way uh, he was speaking about about the game, uh, the game of football uh, at that point in, impressed me and, and uh, yeah, that was for me also I think uh, the most important at that time because I come, I came from Ajax and. and that we like to play football, uh, and at, at that point, um, yeah, he was uh, how we spoke on the phone. He was just playing, speaking about football and, and just about his idea of, of the game. And, and uh, at that point, uh, yeah, it uh, it was clear for me. You played in that incredible four-four draw last season, probably the yeah. best game I've ever seen um, at Stamford Bridge in the Champions League. Did you, did you feel at the time that if you were to leave Ajax, that you wanted to come to England and play in the Premier League? No, I was always like I, I, I was holding my options open, and 
Uh, for me, it was already clear that I will leave in the summer, but where to go, uh, that was not clear. But uh, um, yeah, in the in January, um, we spoke already with the club, and uh, yeah, at that point, uh, uh, I didn't want to sell me at that point. Um, but after the 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 winter winter window, it was all. It was really, really fast, and and uh, everything was, uh, I think, done in ten days, I guess. Alistair McGowan, on BBC. Hi, Hakim. Um, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about your past. Um, how important was it for you to sign for Chelsea, and how big a moment it was it in your career? Um, because I understand you've had a lot of difficulty when you were in your in your youth, when you're in your upbringing, and how big a moment was it to join Chelsea and, and come to the Premier League, both from your perspective and also your family's perspective as well? Uh, yeah, I couldn't be uh, prouder than than that because uh, you know when you when you grow up, um, you always have a dream and. Uh, uh, I think for every young young guy who's growing up, he's want to play in the Premier League or in which bigger competition, um, in what, like in big competitions in the world. And, and of course, there's the Premier League one of. Uh, so it was for me, yeah, uh, at that point when I when I was signing, uh, really proud and uh, uh, you know. Uh, so at that. At that point, I couldn't be prouder. And, and for, my, for now, is it like, you know, you're proud for for a couple of days. And then, yeah, you know, for me, it was like a different situation because I still had four or five months to, to, to look forward to it. But, uh, yeah, after that, you have to change your mindset and, and, and you know, uh, uh, have to work to it and, 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 like, perform for the club and, and so... At that point, I was a couple of days proud, but afterwards, I was already changing my mind to to what I have to do over here. And can I also ask, um, what what's the biggest difference that you've noticed coming from Ajax, which is obviously a top club in the world? But what's the biggest difference you've noticed coming to Chelsea compared to Ajax? Uh, no, yeah, the way they work over here uh, is different than over there. Uh, so for me, it was like. Uh, you know, it's it's a new challenge. It's a big challenge. Uh, everything is different. So uh, yeah, like I said, the the way of training, the way of playing is is different. And um, yeah, you have to get used to it again. Sammy, be in sports. Please unmute yourself, Sammy. to Jerry Cox at Haters. <laughs> Jerry, again, please unmute yourself. Okay. Hi, Hakim. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Good. Um, as well as you, obviously, Chelsea have signed Kai Havertz and Timo Werner as attacking players. And as well as that, Christian Pulisic. Potentially, it's a very uh, exciting attacking lineup. How do you see yourself fitting in? What's your best position, and what do you think of those other players? Uh, no, I have two two different uh, options, or maybe a three. I, you know, it depends where the, where the coach needs me. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter where I'm playing. It's just the way that I love the game to play, and, and for me, it doesn't matter where I'm playing. Uh, and yeah, you know about uh, Kai and Timo there. They are two big talents, and I think they they already proved it in 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 the past what they did for their club before. And yeah, Christian is 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 also one of the biggest talents, and, and I think yeah, they have a lot enough quality, and and you know, uh, for Christian he's al already what what longer here than us, so um, yeah, I can see what he's 
what he's capable of doing on the pitch. Uh, it's, it's just a crazy winger. And uh, yeah, I think it's for me, it's really exciting to work with them. And, and um, I can't wait to be on the pitch full fit and um, yeah, ju just doing our things. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, in the dressing room, uh, yeah, I connect, connect with everybody. Uh, you just find the way uh, they welcome me from the beginning. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's like you're all meeting new people. So it's always like, uh, you know, uh, looking, be calm and looking, uh, like just be just be nice and 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 just be the way you are always uh and the connection will come by itself um and for the things you will achieve yeah i think it's clear for everybody in the club is winning trophies and 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 uh, yeah play perform well and play beautiful football okay do you see me there, there'll be a, a a couple new phases uh uh, and and for us it's like you know uh, for us it's everything new and we're exciting to working with each other and the rest of the team and, and bring each other competition. I think it's for everybody uh, good uh, to make each other better, helping each other. 